Honorable Atandi cannot talk of national government not giving enough money to counties, yet it is MPs, Parliament, that appropriates budget. He is part of the national government. To give you a chance to respond. <laughs> yes. Ahmed from Mombasa. I think there is always this confusion uh, about being in the executive and being in the parliament. And I always tell my colleagues in Jubilee that at the end of the day you are not part of the executive and you must perform your responsibility as members of parliament, as people whose responsibilities to legislate and to oversight. And so to that extent I think uh, that uh, we have been let down by the, by the majority in parliament because uh, they behave like they are part, part and parcel of the executive to an extent that we really we are unable to to, to work as, as parliament and my colleague will agree with, with me that when it comes to matters touching on the executive our colleagues basically surrender and they think that they, they are not allowed to, they say they are part of government, we are, we, part of the we are not to that extent I think uh, <coughs> uh, development of the budget and uh, appropriation and ETC, these are uh, executive responsibilities and they must have the, the goodwill and they must have the goodwill to be able to allocate resources and, and bring the, the, the estimates to parliament for passage. Can Otherwise, parliament do more to push for the money that has been promised to the counties together? If we're talking about only 30% or so having reached the counties and the financial year ends when? June, yes. I believe. Yes. Then what can parliament do anything else? Parliament, parliament is, you know parliament, to be honest, parliament, this parliament is captured. It's captured by the executive. That is the truth of the matter, which if somebody once refused, that is the, tr the reality. Because even we look at the recent, look at recent uh, conversations about Niguna and how the Minister for Internal Security was being interviewed in Parliament. MPs are basically apologizing to him. So we are actually captured. But I think we can do more if we begin to think that we are, a, a, we are an arm of government whose role is to oversight national government and to, to, and to stand for this. In, in the West, if, if that was the case, uh, le leaders who feel things are not going right would resign, would protest, would do something of the but sort. But you seem to be going about your duties normally. normally you know, well, you know, we, we can't tell is, that you're captured not, by no, 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 you, it is not normal. We continue to play our role, our oversight role as, as, as parliament and as, uh, as uh, opposition, because we are still opposition, we are, we, are my, we are minority. But we would have, I would have loved a situation where, as members of parliament, we would think wholesome as, as an institution that has the mandate to oversight and to legislate. But not to, you know, when you go to parliament, you find MPs saying, you know, we are, I'm in government. You know, that is a, that's a wrong, a wrong definition a wrong in, in itself. So, so we, we need to do more as, as a house. And I think we need a proper leadership in that area. Okay, Honorable yeah. Soro. Uh, I can't agree more because um, the truth of the matter is parliament has actually changed meaning whatsoever. And um, as a lawyer, I am a bit embarrassed. Uh, we uh, will get a bit of a challenge to nurture the young people who are growing uh, because of uh, the position that uh, the way we are operating this uh, National Assembly. You'll be shocked that, um, like you said, okay, we are all in government. I think a bit of confusion. We are all in government, the executive, the judiciary, and, uh, and uh, the National Assembly or the parliament. And um, it's only that people claim to be part of the executive and which should actually not be the position. Uh, parliament is not independent as you're speaking. The orders that come from houses, from top leadership of political parties, they are really alarming. That some people pass bills in parliament without even reading them, without debating them. You hear them when they're given instructions, they exactly. follow them to the letter. Speaker comes out with the, when speaker now reads, when it goes to the third reading or whatever second reading, you hear people talk about, put the question, put the question, put the question. They don't want to debate. <laughs> well, the order is, <laughs> <laughs> they just come from state house or from whatever, and make sure you pass that. And people get scared even to speak. And, and even now, being on TV is a challenge to some members of parliament. They've been warned that you appear on TV, we'll whip you. Those are the challenges that people are facing. And we need to really stand out. I hope that this unity of purpose that came about through His Excellency the President, His Excellency Raila Odinga, now will stop that. We need to have independent th thinkers. And that is why, for some of us, like myself, I do not really care who says what. We need to do the right thing in Parliament. Whether one year or not, we need to tell people the truth. But as we are right now, we may not really be in a position to push the executive to do whatever we want them to do. do, you, do you, so you think that the, the handshake, unity of purpose, will allow independence? Would it bring more of 
everyone wanting to now be part of this very big formation? Why, why I think it's going to help us is because uh, we haven't, since, since then, we haven't seen members of parliament being summoned to state house, others being summoned to, you know, NASA house or whatever, or Orange, Orange House. house. Mm -hmm. We haven't had that. Because uh, then we could be heard and, you know, you could hear members of parliament have traveled somewhere and when they come back, they change meaning. When Alfred Keter, I don't know Alfred Keter was being hosted from uh, the chair position that he held, to, very that, to that very evening, while in Mombasa, the mem Jubilee members of parliament that I was sitting with them are telling us that, ah, me, I won't. I've been called, but I won't go back. I mean, I won't, say, I won't go uh, to that meeting. I've just, I'll, I'll tell them that I'm somewhere. Majority leader has called me, but I won't go. But I'm told another call came, which is above the majority leader. And all the members of parliament were running up and down like small kids, going to the airport and saying, you know, we must do this and this. They went and said they were not in their right state of mind. Mm -hmm. So those things <laughs> really <laughs> killed the spirit of parliament. But now I've seen, I've even seen members of parliament <coughs> forming cocoons, discussing things and stuff like that. And because of so, the so political... So showing what independent thinking is beginning it, it, to, to come it, back it's a little bit. Okay. It's beginning. Because of the realignment of 2022, some people are becoming too friendly even to the minority and uh, even to the majority either way people are forming groups people are meeting they're sitting and they're talking and you haven't we haven't had much of the executive orders uh, you know uh, to parliament but i hope it's sustainable because mm. if it is not mm. we are going to face a challenge and i'll tell the guy who sent that message that uh, men we might not do much the government might not release these funds because we can't push them Otherwise, some guys will be removed from committees, and mm -hmm. others depend on that. Mm -hmm. uh, salaries have been, have been cut down, mm -hmm. slashed down. So people depend on uh, some small allowances. You <laughs> push this, you are out of the committee. Let me, this, let let me, me say that. But, uh, let me say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Uh, just before I get there, the handshake, I think, in my view, uh, could help us nationalize parliament so that we, people, nobody thinks that they are cornered, they are threatened. Because I think the issue, the question is that some people feel that, you know, uh, we need to think and act this way because if we don't do this, then we are threatened, we will be removed. So I think this handshake, if we are to harness it properly, it will nationalize our issues so that uh, I don't think like ODM, I don't think like Jubilee, ETC. So that we look at parliament as an institution. You think as, as a parliamentarian. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I think that, that's something that I'm, I'm hoping it, it, it can do.